Hi, this is Sarah with Anthem Strategist, and today we're going to be showing you how to create an IRS ID.me account. First, you're going to want to visit the official IRS website, which can be found at irs.gov. Next, you'll just want to make sure that you have the following items and information handy. Make sure you have identification such as a driver's license, state-issued ID or a passport, your social security number, access to your email account, and then finally access to your phone. Once you have all of this ready and you're on the IRS website, you can access the id.me account creation page. I've also attached the URL above here, which you can visit if you have trouble finding it. So just make sure you enter the required fields, check the necessary boxes, and click the blue create account button to get started. Go ahead and read through this part and make sure you're okay with your information being shared with the IRS. After you're done reviewing this part, you can click the blue continue button. Before you start actually creating your account, you'll need to first verify your identity. So make sure you still have access to your email, and you should be looking out for an email from id.me. You can either click the confirm your email button inside your email, or enter the six digit code within the website. If you click confirm, it should automatically move on to the next step in just a few moments. And after doing that, you'll just need to secure your account. So select the multi-factor authentication or MFA option of your choice. Text message is usually the easiest, but you can choose whichever works best for you. MFA is just an additional step that protects your information by further confirming your identity whenever you log in. So now we'll just need to receive that authentication code. For the sake of this example, we've chosen text, but again, you can choose whichever MFA option works best for you. And then once you've received that code, make sure to enter the six digits in that box and hit the blue continue button once you're done with that. We then recommend securing your account by making note of the recovery code just in case you lose access to your device, which you'll receive the MFA on. So you may generate a recovery code and keep it somewhere safe. Here's an example to my left. So now that we're all done authenticating our account by choosing our MFA option and generating a recovery code and keeping it somewhere safe, we're going to want to verify our identity. So this step is the one that requires you to have your ID handy. So whether that be a passport, driver's license, or a state issued ID, you may choose the video chat agent option, but we highly recommend to choose the self-service option as it is much faster. Then you'll just want to choose how you'd like to submit photos of your ID to ID.me. You can either take a photo or choose an image from your camera roll. So for the sake of this example, let's say I have a photo of my driver's license in my camera roll on my phone, and I would like to upload it to the IRS ID.me account. So I would follow these steps here, and it's going to be similar for however you choose. But if I'm uploading a photo, for example, I would tap the link to upload the photos and just go through these simple steps. After you upload your photos, it's going to want you to continue to verify your identity through your social security number. So make sure you have this handy to enter right there and also make sure to double check for accuracy. So once you've got that entered, hit the blue continue button to move on to the final part. And then the last part in this verifying your identity stage is just confirming some basic information and details about yourself. Check the box at the bottom to confirm everything is correct. After verifying your identity, you'll just need to authorize that the IRS may receive all of the information that you just uploaded. So this includes things like your first name, your last name, your social security number, contact information, everything to my left. And please note that you must click the blue allow button and consent to this to access your online IRS account. Your online IRS ID.me account cannot be created unless you consent to this information being received. So once you're all done authorizing that information on step eight and consenting for the IRS to receive all your information, your account should be successfully created. So you may now log into your ID.me account. In addition to everything that we just covered, it's nice to keep some additional tips in mind to help this process not only go smoother, but keep your account more secure and risk-free in the long term. So first of all, we're going to want to keep our information secure store your username and your password and even that recovery code we talked about earlier in a very safe location where only you and no one else can access it. Secondly, you're going to want to keep your information updated. So if your email, phone number, address, or even your name changes over time, make sure your contact deals are staying updated, especially your multi-factor authentication and your contact information. Lastly, just make sure you're using a secure network when you're creating and accessing this account. Avoid creating your account over public or unsecured Wi-Fi just to protect your personal information. 
We'd like to thank you all for watching this video, and please don't hesitate to reach out to our office if any questions may arise. Also, make sure to check out our other how-to videos for more tips, tricks, and tutorials.